After making a surprising amount of single episode progress, it is dawn of day 174, and we are heading back to the muskeg. Fingers crossed, the game is a bit less trolly this time as well. Okay, don't everybody laugh at once. Hello Legion, this is Hadrian, thank you for being here. Let's play some more of The Long Dark in our Against All Odds series, where I am clearly encumbered, probably on account of water, so let's go ahead and fix that first and foremost. I am going to keep this, as I believe I mentioned, I'm going to keep this meat on me. I think I can safely kind of make it a little bit closer to the musk egg while carrying all of this. I don't worry too much about it. It is going to be a bit of a burden to walk around with this much for now. But I would rather have all of this freshly cooked meat with me. And at the very least, like, drop it somewhere close to the entrance of the musk egg. You know? That seems like a sensible idea to me. Let's see just how quickly the game can prove me wrong in terms of what is sane and what isn't. It's nice that the weather's foggy, although it still seems pretty freaking cold. It's the beginning of the day, so we've got that early morning cold to deal with, even though the fog is probably making it a bit better than it would otherwise be. This is going to be an interesting moment because it's a very, very blind corner, and then I'm just going to kind of stay on the high ground on this ridge and watch toward the tracks. There's not a ton of, like, very level ground. So I'll need to be careful lining up this shot if a wolf does come at me, and I think it's very likely that a wolf will come at me. We've got one full bar of stink. And they could come from a couple of directions. I'm probably most likely to run into one, my guess would be, close to the tunnel. Maybe here. The patrol routes on these wolves are pretty... Well, they're long. And wandering. So, we'll just have to see. I think I'm less likely to get a wolf charging over this <laughs> hill at me, so I'm going to just move this direction and stay on the high ground. Maybe risk some sprains. One of the challenges of this particular situation is that because the wolf would approach on account of smelling meat, the approach is not necessarily going to be as noisy as it would be otherwise. I think I saw a wolf. Oh, no, maybe not. Okay. I want to try and stay off the slope if I can. How much would it suck to get a sprain right as the wolf was coming at me? That would not be fun. At all. Like, even a little bit. All right, moment of truth. Yep. That's going to attract the wolf. Got him. So here's what's interesting. <laughs> this is another fresh kill. I could totally get the meat from this guy as well, but I've got enough to live on, so I'm just going to be happy with this for now. Do I have any wood on me by chance? No, of course not. Gotta warm up somehow. I put it all on the fire. Okay, so the warmth is a problem, technically. I don't know that I'm going to carry all the meat much farther. I probably will head into the musk egg and then drop it on the ground pretty quickly. Got lucky with that wolf kill. He came kind of right at me. And honestly, the initial draw that forced the wolf to charge, that was a accidental button press on the mouse. Because the wolf startled me. Like they do. No one here is surprised. Even if you're new to the channel, if you've been watching the series for more than just a few episodes, you have seen it. You have experienced Dark. it. If I don't warm up 
<laughs> You're fine. We're going to get plenty of wood. Okay, so... Let me go ahead and drop the meat here. Now I do have to warm up somehow. A couple of different ways I could do that. I like that the weather is so clear right now, it's just really cold. Which is a shame too, by the way, because we have layers upon layers of ridiculously nice clothing. And it just seems a little bit absurd that I'm still this cold. But it is what it is. All right, that's 13 minutes that I don't really have. I'm going to try and find sticks. Got to watch for the bear over here. Looks clear. All right, I see some sticks up on this slope. I do want to be careful not to go... This is a bit of a blind slope. But hey, worst comes to worst, if a bear were to come charging over this hill at me right now, I would literally just turn and run back to Mystery Lake. Be like, bye! <laughs> and hopefully make it. See you later. Nice try, etc., etc. Okay. I see another stick here. So I'm getting a few sticks, and I think what I'm going to do, I think the most sensible approach here is I'm going to brave the cold for a moment, continue to pick up sticks. That is a footprint, Adrian. Continue to pick up sticks as I move, and we're going to head back to the train cars, because I think there's still a fair amount of cattails to be picked up as I move back towards the uh, forge. I did get a comment or two saying, like, hey, you could always you just use the forge in Broken Railroad. No need to go back to the four-line mouse keg. Um, that's possible, but unfortunately, I don't know for sure. I mean, I guess I could have, like, gone back and watched the episode to double-check, but I don't think there's a hammer. There is a hammer spawn point. Sometimes. It's in the loot tables for there to be like a hammer, or at least there used to be, at the Broken Railroad um, forge. But there isn't one there. There is one at Forlorn Muskeg because I left it here. So that's my approach. Okay, this is taking me a while. I should probably just run. Let's do that. Thankfully, no wolves super close. Didn't get any more sticks either, though, so don't have a ton to burn. Hey, there it is. Well-fed has returned. I immediately saw an increase in my movement speed there. Well, that was a welcome sight. So unfortunately, all that meat is, uh, is well behind me at this point. Based on the fact that the bear and the wolves could have really come from anywhere, smelling that meat, I think it was a good call just to leave it there. That's about as far as I could have gone with it. Okay, and now, of course, I have this water here. And I'm still carrying a bunch of water. Honestly, I meant to put some down, and I didn't. I just drank some. But let's see what we can do with what we've got, stick-wise. It's probably not going to be enough. But seven sticks at this stage in the game is not nothing. Come on, little fire! No, I didn't want to look at the fire. I wanted to look at the fire barrel. Thank you. All right, that is not going to make it. So I need to get more fuel for this fire. And this is where it's going to get dicey. Because I don't know where the wolves are. I'm already losing health again. God, it is just stunningly cold. Despite everything that I'm wearing. Even in Mystery Lake, it was cold. Mystery Lake. Home sweet home. The place we're all most comfortable. It was cold there. 
You know what? I think I know where I might be able to find some sticks. Let me grab this branch real quick while I'm looking at it. Actually, yeah, I see a couple of places. All right, this is seven minutes. Not an ideal situation right now. Yeah, there's all of these limbs nearby, but I certainly don't have time to stand out for an hour with hypothermia risk, so... That should do it. I would be shocked if it didn't. Are you kidding me? Okay. I'm shocked. This is my shocked face. Wow, game. You are just finding every possible means to be incredibly mean to me. For no reason. Why is it this cold? Seriously, why? Have you seen what I'm wearing? It's not so much why is it this cold, but why am I this cold? Like, with all of these layers of items on me. What's the deal? Alright. What the heck? Alright, that should be enough. And at least that'll also put some time on the fire as well. Okay, now we're warm enough. Now, there might be a few things I can do. Actually, no, I haven't picked enough reishi mushrooms or rose hips, so I can't do anything there. Do I have anything prepared? I don't think so, but I'll check. Oh, also, did I? Yes, I do have my skillet with me. Very good. Okay, I do not have anything to cook. Great. Two hours, 22 minutes. Let's plop the bed roll down. And I need to make a decision, or maybe I don't. Check that out. Oh, am I not auto-ducking? Hold on. There we go. Solve that problem. Okay, so I could sleep for like an hour. If it were to get any colder right now, though, I really really would not be in good shape. So let me attempt to sleep. I'm just going to cross my fingers that I don't get colder while I sleep. Uh-oh. Not what I wanted to hear. Okay, good. So we're not fully warm yet, but it's actually overall still warmer outside. Now we need to make it across the ice. Ugh. I... I dislike this strongly. I kind of want to warm up some more. But I can't linger in one spot for too long, and I need to just get across it. Yeah, it's too freaking cold. Yep, you know what? I'm sticking around. I'm sticking around. I'm doing it. We're just going to keep this fire going. And I'm going to just get what I can from it. It'll get warmer. How long would it take to break this down? I'm guessing an hour-ish. Yeah. Too long. Where else? Alright, so the other location I was thinking of grabbing sticks is on the other... Well, I already went up there once. But there could be more. Yeah, that should be enough. Especially if the weather turns. Let's sleep for another hour. I'm trying to sleep, not pass time, because it's going to burn fewer calories. I'm actually pretty confident that I'm going to be able to find a good amount of food. Alright, now I'm fully warm, which is nice. Let's drink some water. And... Now, the wind is blowing enough that this torch is probably not going to do much for me. All right, there's the bear. Glad I spotted that bear quickly. I'm going to move straight across this way, which is kind of the way I need to go anyway. I'm amazed the torch is still going, but I am not going to complain about it. I think that's great. I do see a stick on the ground, so I'm going to grab that, because it's very likely I will need to start another fire soon. So, 
The temperature's actually not bad at the moment. Did I bring the freaking better? Yes, I did. Temperature's actually not bad. I would have thought with this wind kicking up that we would deal with much harsher temperatures, or at least rapidly declining temperatures, and that's not happening, so that's nice. And the torch is still going, which is incredible, to be honest. Oh, just kidding. It blew out on the ground. That's mean. Okay. Watching for cattails as well. Those are the train tracks, by the way, so we still have to kind of swing to the left. Oh, I see some. I see some. There could be a wolf nearby, so I'm not... I'm trying not to let my attention focus too much on one thing at a time. Keeping my head on a swivel to the best of my ability. All right, more sticks. That's very good. Sprain risk. That's fine. All right. Really need to, like, stop and scan for cattails here. I think the reason I said I'm pretty confident I'm going to find food is I think there's probably going to be at least one prop carcass that I haven't harvested yet. And if that's the case... That'll give me enough food to kind of do what I need to do in the muskeg, probably. Maybe not, but probably. I think the path that I'm following right now might be the one that I've already taken once. I seem to recall that my, my route to the forge initially was not quite my normal route, so that's why I'm kind of double-checking for cattails. I do know that there are still vast sections of this zone that I haven't scavenged for cattails, though. All right, so there's a hunting blind right up there that might have some goodies in it, but I'm going to keep going towards the forge for now because I would hate for the weather to turn. It's been windy like this for a few moments. So I'm just going to assume this wind is bringing something with it. Oh, hi. That's a wolf right in front of me, in case you missed it. I'm going to go this way. Which is actually kind of towards the blind. So if I can make it across to that, I might check it out. Because I don't know that I did before. Hey, more cattails. Perfect. Well, that worked. Let me just make sure I'm not walking right in front of the bear. It doesn't look like I am. Could be wrong about that. Let's get low to the ground just in case. I see more cattails across the ice, so it looks like I've stumbled upon one of the areas I was just referencing, which is beautiful. Oh, yeah, more cattails over there, too. One, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jackpot. Jackpot. This is why I've been looking forward to this trip. And this is one of the reasons, by the way, that I was so salty when I showed up in Forlorn Muskeg and it was so thickly foggy. Like, that was such bad fog. That was very, very rude on the game's part. Sprinting across here. Okay. More cattails. So, food-wise, oh, that's four. Oh, my God. And there's still more. I will need to warm up soon. Alright, I see rose hips. I see another cattail too. So let me step over there and grab that. Still, like, surprisingly, like, I see cattails straight ahead too. I think. Yeah, there's some across the ice. I don't want to double back that far, though. I've picked up enough in the past few moments. 
I'm starting to feel numb. All right now. I know it's it's time. We got to get you inside somewhere. <laughs> Maybe. All right, that's where the rose hips were. Let's I don't think I've been here. I'm about to find out though. Ooh, that is what I wanted to see. I was really hoping. Oh, a book too. Perfect. I'm not sure I can carry much more. And a granola bar, and lantern fuel, and the Polaroid. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, anything on the ledges? Nope. All right, let's go. All right, so my food prediction slash hopes is working out. All of those are coming true pretty quickly, which is nice. I'm going to jump back across here. I th it looks like the best spot to do this is actually if I step over to this edge. Okay, now I just need to keep a close eye on the area ahead of me. There should be potentially even more cattails in the area ahead. I just, this is also where the ice can get a little dodgy. So... Yep, I see more cattails. Very good. Wow, look at this. There's so many. The sucky thing is, I really do need to get indoors. And soon. I can't actually remember. And see that? There might be thin ice there, so I don't want to like necessarily take that bait. All right, I see a wolf right in front of me. That's not good placement, but at the same time, I'm approaching shelter. Oh, so cold. All right, and there's the temperature warning. So I need to get inside now. I am officially out of time. Oh, hey. That's well placed. Let's see if we can get away with a fire that's not blown out here. This might do it. On, little fire. Yep. I don't want to use that big piece of wood until I'm absolutely certain that I'm going to be good here. does look protected, and it's actually warm enough right now without using all of the wood. That's fantastic. All right, so I'm going to grab this stick as well. Do not want to put the cedar firewood on there. Okay, this is kind of perfect because there are multiple scrub brushes nearby. I'm going to chop this up. Weather seems like it's starting to turn a little bit. Nice. This is... Is this the first time in the series that I've actually been able to do this when I've been looking for a hollow tree? I know I've said out loud so many times, like, can you give me a hollow tree right now, please? Like, anywhere? And I've never found one, but now they're actually... <laughs> there's one, like, right when I needed one. That's pretty awesome. Alright. I want to be careful here. It's not that cold. So this might push me back down to zero. No, it didn't. Nice. You would think from how windy it is that it would be a little bit more treacherous. I guess this is the game kind of making it up to me a little bit. After how cold it was for the beginning of this episode, and I was just pointing out, like, this is a little bit absurd. Look what I'm wearing. <laughs> That's a wolf and bearskin coat combined. Combined. And everything's at like 90% or higher as I accidentally take off my socks. Okay, so honestly, I think I just need to like plop my bedroll down and like pass time here for a bit. I don't even need to plot the bedroll down. Although the bedroll would give me the warmth bonus, which is why I'm doing it. 
So I don't need to do this for the warmth, but we're going to pass some time that way for a full hour. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. I know. All right, so at this point, I need, need to consume some of these cattails. Feeling better. Feeling better in a lot of ways. There's a couple things I need to do. I also need to refuel this lantern because I have some fuel. Perfect. Hmm. Is that not enough flour to make more bannocks? It is, isn't it? I guess I'll figure that out later. It seems like a, let me not drink cooking oil. You can't. That's a joke, but <laughs> at least in the game, you can't. Please, nobody drink cooking oil. Wouldn't be helpful in a general sense. Let's go ahead and take a torch. Actually, we're going to take a couple of torches because I'm a little bit low on torches. And that one is much better than the first one I pulled. Heck yeah. Hi, wolf. Okay, we're going to go the other way. <laughs> so this actually presents me with an opportunity because it's not even... Oh, wow. I'm not even... Yeah, the game's definitely making it up to me at this point. That's what's happening right now. So if I, if I double back a little bit, remember these cattails back here? I need to be mindful of that wolf. But I think if I sprint, I can probably make it to those. I don't know. What do you think? Nice. I'm honestly a little bit surprised the ice wasn't even thin there. That's beautiful. And there's more over there. Holy crap. All right. I'm going to take full advantage of the muskeg being this nice to me while I can. Because this is not, <laughs> I repeat, not going to last. Period. Hello? There we go. Wow. All right, so I see another stick. We're close to the end of the day. Let me make sure that I, I did. You know what I was checking. I don't even need to say it. All right, so there's my fire over there. I just need to watch for the wolf and then approach the actual farmstead. Is this where I crossed before? I don't think it is. Although I could probably do it. Yeah, it is where I crossed before. I remember now. All right, so... Wolf over there. I can see him. Very close. All right, actually coming toward me again. So not optimal wolf placement. I see what I have to do. Let me cross here. So I have to kind of, in a very ironic way, I'm making my way back toward, that's the cave where we came in, by the way. So I'm, I'm more or less back where I started. I probably could have, I remember someone commented on this and they're completely right. I could have made it to the forge, but my memory of the exact path was not good enough, and the fog was the thickest kind of fog. It was the thickest variety of fog that the Long Dark will ever spawn on you as a player, and that's what I was dealing with. Another stick. Okay. I am nervous about this ice here. And that's why. And that's why I was nervous about that path to begin with. Okay. So now we're approaching a section of the zone where I'm a little bit more confident that I've like fully explored and I'm less likely to find new things, but I'm still gonna check for sticks. Because if I didn't leave coal here before, I can't recall if I did, I probably showed up here with a bunch of coal and maybe didn't burn it all. So if there's still coal here, then fantastic. If there's not, then I'm going to need all of these sticks that you can see me picking up. 
for the fire. Also, I'm going to grab this reishi mushroom. Put the torch away. I'm amazed at how warm it is, but this is... This goes back to what I was saying at the beginning of the episode when I was talking about beginning of the day fog being a blessing because it's otherwise very, very cold right at sunrise. As you would expect. Okay, I'm kind of veering towards the cattail area a little bit. I don't know if there actually are any, but I just want to double check. Again, the last time I was here, I didn't have a lot of time. Resources were scarce. Time was scarce. We're in a very different situation now. I see carrion crows over there, which indicates exactly what I was hoping for. There was probably a prop deer carcass nearby. So we are in good shape. I see some more cattails over here. Let me just sprint across this stretch of ice. I actually think I'm approaching where the wolf was, so let me get low to the ground just so as to avoid detection if I can. Yeah, the wolf was right to my left. There's a cattail right there. I see two more but it's not worth it because I think the wolf is close enough. I'd prefer... It's... I've got enough food at this point. I don't need to be quite that thorough. Perfectionism is the enemy. Or at least it's one of the big ones, you know? <laughs> at least it's one of the big ones. Did I check these before? I mean, these are just crates. I don't think there's anything else that can really be looted here. Any other reishi mushrooms in the area? No, but I see a stick there. Okay. Let me go ahead and trudge over to the farmstead. We could have a wolf or two on our hands as I cross here, but that's okay. I'm prepared. I am much more prepared, in fact, than the last time I was here. So... Let's go. I would be amazed if I haven't already scapped. Really? I must not have crossed this bridge. That's the only sensible explanation I can come up with for that metal container having not, like, still having not been looted. That's surprising. Okay. Okay. So that is a prop carcass, possibly a human corpse, but I'm going to guess prop carcass. Very comfortably close to the forge. It is, of course, the end of the day. But also, look how tired I am. That's not good for a potential wolf struggle. But it is good for getting a lot of sleep and recovering a lot of condition. Speaking of wolf struggle, let me meander back this way a little bit. And I am inside. Is there still coal here? Uh, doesn't look like it. So, all right. Doesn't even look like there's, there's a bunch of cattail heads on the ground. But it doesn't look like there's even a lot of wood. I mean, there's these planks that I can still break up. I'm guessing, oh, there's still some back here. Okay, that's positive. I could definitely just go ahead and break this down. Let's see what I can get away with here as well. Because we need a lot of wood. Feels like night is coming. Yeah, it's gonna get real cold. Okay. Alright, this is awesome. <sighs> Let's go ahead and start a fresh fire. We will use a wood match. Still have that cedar firewood, which I'm gonna use right now. Good one. 
and that is everything I can possibly put on this fire. So we now have a 12 hour with an asterisk by it, because of course it will be more than 12 hours. Got that going. I'm going to step up here. And, you know, I'm kind of tempted, honestly, yeah, because I know the fire is still going to be going when I wake up. Here's what I'm going to do as I end this episode. Let's end on a really positive note. That fire will be more than warm enough for me. When I go back to the temperature screen, it's probably going to be over 100 degrees. <laughs> totally comfortable sleeping temperature. Completely healthy for the body and brain. It's only about 40 degrees higher than the brain actually looks for. 40 plus. Okay. Yeah, 90. Okay, fine. 94. It's pretty good. So I'm going to sleep for nine hours. And of course, you might think, well, what about that fire? We still have a couple of hours left on it. We're going to recover a lot of condition from this sleep. We're going to have a save point, which would be nice to end this video, which I need to do. And that's 173 days, 15 hours, 23 minutes. How long still on the fire? I'm just going to step down here. We've, of course, got our save point, so I'm happy about that. Seven hours still. <laughs> Seven hours still on this fire. So, with that, just to be super safe, hang on. Do I have to pass a full hour in order to make it safe? Fine, I'll do it. I haven't been trusting the autosave as much recently, and I didn't see the save indicator because I wasn't looking for it. So I wanted to go ahead and make sure I got that save point before I wrapped up. But in the next one, I am going to forge a brand new hatchet. And then we're going to make our way back into Broken Railroad, where we have some stuff waiting for us and could potentially do some more hunting as well. We're, again, we're in places where we've been before, but we're much better equipped. So I'm going to be able to take advantage of situations that I maybe was a little bit too skittish and nervous to take on before, given the improvement in pretty much everything at this point. And then, and then, and then, it's onward to the new zone. And I say zone for now, but it's going to be zone plural, very likely, unless... I get a run of very bad luck before the end of this series. So that's something to look forward to. At least one new zone. I've been in this zone a little bit, Forsaken Airfield, as I've mentioned, but there's certainly more to uh, be discovered than I've currently discovered. So looking forward to exploring it with you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. If you're not new here, look for the join button for access to channel unique emotes, badges, and other perks. New episodes drop every day but Wednesday at 1 p.m. US Eastern time. Comments are always welcome, so leave your thoughts below. And I'll see you next time.